how are you going today? Hello, my psychic family. How are you today? How's your life been? Okay. Well, today I'm going to teach you about automatic writing. It's really simple. Anyone can do it. And you can also contact spirits through your automatic writing. Okay. All you need is a pad, a pencil or a pen. And what we're going to do is firstly, I'm going to actually show you how I do it. So close your eyes, breathe in and breathe out. Connect to the higher realms, connect to the source energy consciousness, light and love. Now breathe in and out again. Now breathe in the earth. Let the earth's energy come up through your feet, up into your body, filling you up with love, stability and balance. Okay. Breathe a couple more times. Get centered and imagine a golden egg. See a golden egg in your mind. Can you see it? What does your egg look like? Okay, that is your stability and your grounding. If you're not happy with the egg, imagine that you're a tree. Imagine you're a tree and your energy is going deep into the earth, grounding you and strengthening you, keeping you stable and strong and firm. Now you're ready for the work. Ask your spirit guides to help you through this session. Just say, spirit guides, please help me through this session. Help me to automatic writing. And I'm going to connect to, let's say, um, let's say Marilyn Monroe. I'm just, for example, I'm going to say Marilyn Monroe. It can be any spirit or it can just be automatic writing to who you choose or just to source energy or the Akashic Records, anything. Okay, let's get started. What I'm going to do is ask some questions. So, Marilyn Monroe, what is your name? Norma Jean. She's told me her name is Norma Jean. Okay, next question. How old were you when you passed away? Tell me exact, the exact age. 48. I've got a 48. Don't think if it's right or wrong. Don't judge it or anything. Just allow the information to come. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of people and just as an example, it doesn't have to be right or wrong. Just do the exercise, okay? You're just doing the exercise. Now, um, so I'm automatically getting, without even asking a question, I'm getting that she always looked in the mirror. So I'm just going to write mirror. You're always obsessed with your looks in the mirror. You couldn't believe... She's actually talking to me right now. So you couldn't believe that you had brown hair and then all of a sudden you had blonde hair and he had a different name. Okay. Shocked at the change. So what can happen is with your automatic writing, you'll just start writing um, it down. Obsessed. Mirror. You don't even have to look at it, but you can look at it. So, you loved animals. Okay, you had a... What kind of teddy bear? See, they can hear you before you even ask the question. I asked her, what was your favourite animal stuffed toy when you were little? She said a teddy bear. In my mind's eye, I can see a brown bear... And it is a small one with little brown eyes and a little black nose. So, 
What you will start to do with this is have some fun. You'll start to see in your mind's eye, which is your third eye, which is in your brain. It is an eye, but it's in your brain and you can see inwards. So it's your dream eye. And you know when you have dreams or you daydream, you see things as if it's real. That is what you're doing when you get a vision. Okay, so you can get pictures or you can get movies. Now, uh, what else can I ask her? No, um, do you want me to call you Norma Jean or Marilyn? Marilyn. So instantly I got Marilyn. Now, Marilyn, I see a lot of men. I can actually feel her around me now. I'm getting tingles and goosebumps all around me. Thank you, Marilyn. Uh, Robert Redford. I'm seeing Robert Redford in my mind's eye and I'm seeing that she loved him. Now I'm also seeing a lot of men. She went out with a lot of men and they took advantage of her. And she would go home and cry and just be upset with that. Now, I'm not going to write that down, but what happens is you'll be asking questions and you will just be writing automatically. But I'm getting her speaking to me right now, so I'm just going to speak to you. And just keep the writing going until you feel the energy stop. When the energy stops, hang on a second, Marilyn. When the energy stops, you stop writing and you thank the spirits for coming and then you ask them to leave, please, and surround yourself with white light and break the contact. I'll tell you how to do that in a minute. So I'll ask Marilyn a couple more questions and I can see a lot of men that have used Marilyn and treated her badly. Yeah, I know. So you were very, very depressed and you felt crazy and you didn't know what to do. You felt like you were in a vicious cycle of abuse and a lot of the men were alcoholics and they didn't treat you right. I understand that. So... You took to drinking and you took to pills. You took a lot of pills to try and combat the depression and the anxiety and the stress, but all of it was pretty much made up of you were used and that really tormented you and affected you in a very horrible way. You were, you were absolutely shattered and on top of that, your mother was in a psychiatric ward and she was she was deemed crazy but she was actually quite psychic and she was hurt by a lot of men as well when she was younger so it kind of sent her mad and now you're suffering the same fate and it you just can't handle it. You love looking at yourself in the mirror as a beautiful blonde. You love your body but you're very obsessed with the way you looked. And I'm getting that Marilyn saying she pretty much was obsessed with the mirror. She never pretty much, she never stopped looking in the mirror. And she was so bored when she was in hotel rooms, staying there. She was alone and very lonely. Men would have sex with her and then leave her. They would lie to her and tell her how they loved her and they would stay with her forever. And they never did. She had two husbands that I'm picking up, two husbands that were abusive and left her and they were alcoholics. She was in a pretty bad way when she passed away, although she did not commit suicide. She was, I'm not going to go into too much about that, but she was murdered. Let's leave it at that with Marilyn. Marilyn, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being with me today to help me to guide my students and to teach them how to do automatic writing and speak to spirit. Thank you. So please leave me now, Marilyn Monroe. Thank you. Leave now. I cut ties with Marilyn Monroe. And now I'm going to... Thank you, Marilyn. And I'm going to tap into the Akashic Records now. I'm going to ask the Akashic Records to 
please give me information on whatever subject will come up so what subject should I think about um okay what's going on in the world at the moment how is it everything going to turn out it's going to be three years so I'm getting three years there will be change it's going to take three years for the change to come okay three years to come and all right now akashic records the all-knowing mind please tell me how to make my life better in this world follow your dreams so i've got follow my dreams and do what i love so do what you love and follow your dreams i'm getting also i'm going to ask focus on what you love focus on what you love and focus on what you are passionate about rather than worrying about money because abundance comes abundance is already there and you just have to tap into the money side of it that's how you do automatic writing it's pretty simple so i'll see if i get any more information to tell you from the akashic records before we go okay akashic records tell me uh is there anything that i need to tell my students before i go Follow your heart, follow your dreams, do what makes you happy and don't go around hurting each other. Be compassionate and empathetic. Take care of yourself and be independent and love yourself. Connect with people that you really care about and don't worry about the people that don't care about you. Don't worry about people that are fake. Don't give them your time. Spend your time with people that actually matter, your family, friends, and people that you really love, your animals, and go after what you really want. That is the end of today's video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye.